Okay, so now we have question number nine from the mock paper that I made. This is a question about the um, graphs of the trig functions, and we've been asked to s uh, sketch on the same set of axes, the pair of axes they gave us in the diagram below. Um, the graphs of y equals cosine 2x and sine x plus pi over 4, and in the interval between x between 0 and 2 pi, showing the coordinates of points of intersection with the coordinate axes in exact form. Okay, so let's make a start on this. So we've got y equals cosine 2x. Let's start with that. y equals cosine 2x. So you have y equals cosine 2x. Okay, now for this, of course, you should use a pencil. Now, first of all, I'm going to think about what y equals cosine x looks like. y equals cosine x. This is a transformation of y equals cosine x. Like if this is y equals fx, this would be f2x, where the x was replaced by the 2x, which is a horizontal stretch of factor of a half. When it's inside the function, it's something to do with the horizontal transformation. If it's multiplication, it's something to do with stretch. If it's inside the function, then you, you take the reciprocal of the number that's multiplying. So it's a stretch, a horizontal stretch of factor a half. So let's think about cosine x first. It goes through, nope, that's not cosine x. Cosine x, it goes through 0, 1. If you're not sure, you can just use your calculator to, to, to make sure, but you should know your cosine curve and your sine curve by now. So it goes through 0, 1. When x is, when x is 0, cosine of 0 is 1. The cosine of 90 degrees, which is pi over 2, is 0. The cosine of 180 degrees, which is pi, is minus 1. The cosine of 270 degrees, which is 3 pi over 2, is 0. And the cosine of 2 pi is 1. Now here what's happened is all of these points have been basically um, have to be multiplied by um, a half. So pi over 2 becomes pi over 4. So that point shifts to there. Okay, that point shifts to here. And um, pi becomes pi over 2. Pi becomes pi over 2, so it shifts to here. And 3 pi over 2 becomes 3 pi over 4. Well, this is um, 2 pi over 4. And this is uh, 4 pi over 4. So this must be 3 pi over 4 between them. Okay, that's a nice way to use using fractions. That's, if that's 0, that's pi over 4. That's, that's pi over 4. That's uh, going to be... Um, 2 pi over 4, that's 3 pi over 4, that's 4 pi over 4, that's 5 pi, 5 pi over 4, that's 6 pi over 4, that's 7 pi over 4. It's a nice, easy way to work out what these mid values are. Uh, we can see we're going to use them. Um, so we know that um, this point goes to 3 pi over 4, instead of 3 pi over 2, because you multiply by a half. And this point goes from 2 pi to pi. Multiply 2 pi by a half, you get 1 pi. So it's kind of like being squashed into this section. And then the rest, is, this pattern will repeat because this curve repeats every 360 degrees. So let's try and do this. Um, I'm not really good at doing this, especially with these tools that I have. But you've got to be a bit more uh, better than this. You need to make sure that it looks curved. Okay, it's a bit difficult because it's steep this time. So you're going to try and make it curved. It goes, hit that point, goes up. And it's not too bad not too bad okay and then that has to repeat that same pattern has to repeat so it's going to go through this point and it's going to go to that point it's going to go to that point and it's going to go to that point now I'm going to do as I think I did pretty well there I'm going to do a little cheat I'm going to take what I drew you can't actually do this you have to draw it yourself and I'm going to just do that okay I guess that's okay. That'll do. You get the idea what you're supposed to do. Okay, that should be a bit lower. That should really go through here. I don't know what, why it's a different that side, but it should really go through this point here. Anyway, no problem. That's y equals 
the cosine of 2x. Now we're going to draw, and I'll change colors so that we can see it clearly, y equals the sine of x plus, was it pi over 4? Yes. Let's make sure that's the same as that one. Yep, x plus pi over 4. Okay, this is the case where you've got fx plus pi over 4, where the x has been replaced by x plus pi over 4. So y equals sine x is the original equation, and the x was replaced by x plus pi over 4. So again, it's inside the function, so it's horizontal. But when you add something, it's something to do with the translation. So it's now horizontally translated, but by minus pi over 4, so the vector would be minus pi over 4, 0. It acts the opposite. So instead of adding pi over 4 to all the x values, you subtract pi over 4 from each of the x values and you leave the y values as they are. So the sine curve looks like this. It goes through 0, 0. It reaches 1 at 90 degrees. It reaches 0 at 180 degrees. It reaches minus 1 at 270 degrees. And it reaches um, 0 back at, two, at 360 degrees. Two pi. So it goes like this. This is how it would look. Now, in this situation, what's happened is all these points have to be moved back by pi, pi over 4. So this goes back by pi over 4. This goes back by pi over 4. This goes back by pi over 4. As does this. As does this. And it will continue on like that. So if I start drawing it like this and then cross off the bits I don't need and add the bits that I do, I'm going to have a sine curve that will look something. So it's going to be curved going up. It's going to go through that point. It's going to go through zero. I haven't done it that well this time. It's going to go through this point. It's going to go up through that point. And then it's going to come it's going to be rising to the top up there, which is out of our range. Okay, so it's not, it's not exactly a very nice curve. I've tried my best. Let me just straighten this bit up here. You've got to be a bit more professional than this. This is a bit difficult with this tool that I've got. Anyway, that's y equals, y equals sine of x plus pi over 4. Now, it tells us to show the coordinate, the... the the place where it, it crosses the coordinate axis, so it crosses, all of these are shown here. Pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4. This is where these graphs cross it, but there's one place. First of all, let me get rid of this part, which I don't need, because it's only told me to draw it between 0 and pi. Okay, we have this part over here, where the curve hits the y-axis. So we've got to give the coordinates of that point here. Now, that's when y well, the, the equation is y sine, uh, y equals sine x plus pi over 4. So this is on the y-axis. On the y-axis, x is 0. When x is 0, y is going to be sine of pi over 4. Now, the sine of pi over 4 gives you root 2 over 2. So this value is root 2 over 2. That's the place where it crosses the axis here. So we've given all the points where they cross the axis, and we've drawn the graphs. So that's part A done. And part B says, hence, means using your drawing, write down the number of solutions of the equation cosine 2x minus sine x plus pi over 4 equals 0 in the interval 0 and 2 pi. So you've got cosine 2x minus sine x plus pi over 4 equals 0. Now, so over here, we can rearrange this. So you have cosine 2x equals sine of x plus pi over 4. Now, when they're equal to each other, you see, why did I do this? Because I know that I've drawn y equals cosine 2x. I've drawn y equals sine x plus pi over 4. If I rearrange this, this is where they're equal to each other. Or you can think of it about it. This is where the difference between this, this curve and that curve is zero. The difference, the, the, the difference in the y values of this curve and this curve is zero. So that means they'll be at the same point. That means that's the point where they are equal to each other or where they intersect. So we can see visually from the graph, they intersect at one point, at two points, at three points, and at four points within zero to two pi. 
Okay, so the answer for part B is there are four solutions. Four solutions. Four solutions. That's the answer to part B. Okay, now sometimes these questions, I've seen them come up in um, the last, in the, in the actual the January paper and even in the specimen and so. Um, basically, where they say find the number of solutions, for example, between 0 and 20 pi, or something like that. So then you have to try to see how many 2 pi's fit in 20 pi. You can see there's 10 2 pi's that fit in 20 pi. Okay, so um, that means you're going to have to multiply it 4 by 10, that will be 40 solutions and so on. So there's sometimes there's different questions that are based on that. But that question here just asks us to find the number of solutions between 0 and 2 pi. To find the actual solutions, that's something which we, we do in P2. Okay, so that comes a bit later. So there we are with the end of question number 9. Thank you for watching.